children who grow up with. Uh, we're talking to Mr. Crowder, and the uh, topic is the impact of AIDS on African Americans. And of course, uh, Mr. Crowder, what we'd like to do over this uh, last uh, six minutes that we have here is to give you an opportunity to sort of inform our audience of some of the things that you believe and that probably you made up your mind before you got here today to talk about that you wanted to at least leave okay. with our audience. And so let's give you an opportunity to do okay. that now. One thing that I want everybody to understand, HIV and AIDS is a 100% preventable disease. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. We know exactly how you, do we don't know everything about HIV, but there are certain things that we are very clear on, and that mm -hmm. is how you get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We know there's three modes of transmission, mm -hmm. blood to blood, that's sharing needles. And you know what, since we're talking about needles, I might as well talk about because when we start talking about mm. sharing needles, everybody goes straight to an injection drug user. Mm -hmm. But they need to be real clear. When we say sharing needles, we're talking any type of needles. Mm -hmm. Specifically, mm -hmm. those young people who are getting all of these body piercings, mm -hmm. man, they got holes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, 15 in their ears and mm -hmm. their tongues mm -hmm. and God knows where. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if those are not being put in by a reputable body piercing person mm -hmm. who's using clean sterile needles mm -hmm. and let's be real clear in order, in order to do any piercing mm -hmm. a needle gonna have to be involved mm -hmm. whether it's a gun needle or whatever mm -hmm. and I know in my community mm -hmm. as far as tattooing let me go to tattooing mm -hmm. there are very, there are a lot of people putting on tattoos mm -hmm. in our community. Mm -hmm. Tattoo Jim, Tattoo Bob, mm -hmm. it's several. Mm -hmm. Now, if those people are not using sterile equipment, mm -hmm. that is a mode of transmission. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're talking blood to blood, uh, unprotected sex mm -hmm. with an infected person. Mm -hmm. and, and you guys can't say enough about unprotected sex. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's real important. 80% of all new infections are occurring during, from heterosexual sex, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, mother to child. Now, and I need to go ahead on and give you some information mm -hmm. about mother to child. Mm -hmm. As we speak with, with the advances in medicine, mm -hmm. and this is a long study, there are virtually hardly any babies being born mm -hmm. to HIV positive mother because mm -hmm. they had a study back in 96 called mm -hmm. 076 whereby they put the mother on the antiretroviral drugs, the same mm -hmm. drugs that they give a person with HIV, mm -hmm. and it prevents uh, mm -hmm. perinatal mm -hmm. transmission. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, so they got that almost down to zero. It's about 2 to 5 percent now mm -hmm. of the HIV positive. That's if the mother know that she's positive mm -hmm. and she And take and, precautions. Right, right. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And those are the only three ways. And, believe, and the only four body fluids that transmit HIV mm -hmm. is semen, mm -hmm. blood, vaginal secretions, and breast milk. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get one of those body fluids mm -hmm. of an infected person into mm -hmm. your body, then you don't get infected. Mm -hmm. But again, and African Americans has got to step up to the plate mm -hmm. and take this thing seriously. Mm -hmm. Again, one in 50 African American men has HIV. So mm -hmm. when you go to church Sunday, you mm -hmm. look around. If it's mm -hmm. 50 men sitting in that pew mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in the congregation, one of them got HIV. Mm -hmm. And it, one in 160 African American women is infected mm -hmm. with HIV. Mm -hmm. African American women ha is, is 28 times greater of getting HIV than white women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so there's a great disparity between uh, this. A this, huge this. disparity. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, we have got to feel that this is not something we don't have to be ashamed mm -hmm. of. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. because we're all human. Mm -hmm. We're all human. The name of the virus is human immunodeficiency oh, virus. Mm -hmm. So every human got some degree mm -hmm. of risk. Mm -hmm. And God made us to, to multiply. Mm -hmm. Or so we <coughs> sexual mm -hmm. beings. And that's mm -hmm. just natural. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's nothing to be ashamed mm -hmm. of, you know. Mm -hmm. Because if, but for the grace of God, everybody on the planet mm -hmm. of, of adult age, mm -hmm could be HIV. And, and, and so over the last minute and 33 seconds, uh, Ms. Crowder, 
Uh, are, are we still saying that this disease uh, continues to grow in the United States of America? That is Absolutely. spread wide. Right now, every year, there are 40,000 new infections. Now, CDC has a strategic plan. I sit on that committee to mm -hmm. help them with that. They have a strategic plan to cut the, the 40,000 in half, I think, by 2005. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every day, 50 African Americans mm -hmm. become infected with HIV. Mm -hmm. Now, let me just say this. this I got to say this. Mm -hmm. People over the age of 50 okay. are getting infected at the same rate as teenagers. Mm -hmm. Now, we at 50 or 55 seem to think mm -hmm. that we don't have an issue with HIV. Mm -hmm. Let me say it one more time. Say it loud. Fifth, the <laughs> people over the age, age of 50, 50 mm -hmm. are getting infected at the same rate mm -hmm. as teenagers. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's because mm -hmm. of uh, unprotected sex. Unprotected more, more sex. Than well, you know, they mm -hmm. think they get a widow, widower, uh -huh. you know. Okay. They ain't dated in a while. They uh, get old, uh -huh. get a new boyfriend. They uh -huh. think they don't have that risk because of the age. But uh -huh. www.street-work.org is our web okay. address. Uh, telephone number, area code 615. And, of course, we'll see you uh, the next time. We thank you, Ms. Crowder, for bringing <laughs> okay. that excellent information to us. Thank, Thank you. you and good morning. Thank you, Doug. You're watching WB.